ed this is a, a series of education research in this lecture uh, we will discuss about a correlation correlational research the correlation research is actually a relation between two and more variable to be in this lecture we will we will discuss about definition of correlation research purpose of correlation research and limitation of correlation research moreover co we will also discuss correlation coefficient and their significance process of conducting correlation research and relationship studies and prediction study one by one so first of all <coughs> correlation research the simple definition of correlation is that a correlation research involved to describe whether and to what degree variable are related the purpose of correlation is determine the relation between two and more uh, variable it relation might be a weak relation moderate relation and strong relation based upon the correlation we can also make the prediction about the future correlation research has some limitation uh, suppose uh, for example the correlation study cannot indicate cause and effect now we'll discuss the process of cor correlation research first of all we select the problem and in the problem we take the variable to be correlate select on the base of some uh, uh, rational <coughs> for example if we would like to find the correlation between math attitudes of 10th class student and uh, math achievement so it will make the core it has some logical similarly uh, we can find make the correlation between the teacher efficacy and their effectiveness uh, other example is that if we use the modern teaching to like the simulations and we find the correlation between the use of simulation and student achievement uh, increase a uh, meaningful so correlation increase the ability to meaningfully interpret the result result sometime it a correlation inefficient and difficult to interpret sometime the result in the correlation research process participant and instrument selection so for the selection of participant there should be a minimum of 30 subject if there are less than the 30 subject uh, we could not run the data of correlation research on a different type of software like uh, statistical package of the social science so minimum data uh, number of participants must be uh, 30 we also select instrument we, uh, we also see the validity and reliability of the uh, instrument so uh, according to the observation of researcher if higher validity and reliability required for sample for smaller sample where as lower validity and reliability required for the large sample now we discuss design and procedure of uh, the correlation research in correlation search we collect the data on two or more variable for each subject and after that we uh, analyze the data as so we compute the appropriate correlation coefficient for this purpose we use the different type of the, the uh, software like statistical package for social uh, sciences and it ca also called the spss we can use the r statistic and there are so many other software are available in the market for the analysis of the data 
correlation coefficient uh, first we find a, co a correlation coefficient identify the size and direction of the relationship so size uh, size and magnitude range from 0.001 to 1.00 its its direction may be positive and negative for in correlation coefficient we interpreting the size of relation so mostly the social science scientists design some general rule for example a less than point 35 is a low correlation between any two variables uh, if uh, the correlation is between 0.360 uh, 0.36 and uh, 65 it's called the moderate correlation and above 0.6 is, is the called high correlation so these are the general rule for finding the low moderate and high correlation correlation search is also used for the prediction in case of prediction the correlation must must be between 0.06 and 0.70 indicate for a group prediction and if we predict the word individual then indicate sufficient score is 0.80 correlation coefficient uh, uh, further we see interpret the size of correlation for the criterion reliability so for criterion reliability the relation should be above 0.60 for effective scale in educate above 8.0 for test is minimal acceptable relation <coughs> we can also find inter rate reliability so uh, above point 80 is a good inter rate reliability between point 80 and point 89 is acceptable and acceptable inter reliability uh, between point 780 and 79 is minimally acceptable inter rate reliability and if the inter inter rate reliability is uh, lower than 0.698 then this is a problematic for uh, for conducting the correlation research interpret the direction of the correlation so it has a uh, two type of direction it has a positive direction and negative direction direction uh, first of all we see positive direction mean high score on the predictor variable are associated with high score on the criterion <coughs> variable whereas lower score on the predictor variable are associated with the low score on the criterion variable and uh, so that is a directly correlation if that there is a positive correlation on the other hand in case of negative negative correlation direction <coughs> high score on the predicted variable are associated with low score on the criterion low score on the predictor are associated with high score on the criterion variable so let's try to understand positive and negative does not mean a good or bad score positive and negative only interpret the direction of the correlation correlation coefficient interpret the size and direction correlations use the general rule plus 0.98 is a strong correlation between any two variable uh, plus 0.5 is a moderate positive correlation plus 0.2 is a low positive correlation uh, minus 2.6 is a low negative correlation minus 0.42 is a moderate negative correlation uh, minus 0.895 is a strong negative correlation so there is a strong negative correlation and strong positive 
correlation. Now I ask one of question from you: Which of the correlation above is the strongest and the the first and last? Please think about the answer of this question. I will ask at the end of this lecture. For correlation, we we draw the scatter uh, plot. Scatter plot basically graphical representation of correlation uh, between two and more variable. Example for predicting from attitude scale in the example one to the achievement test is the uh, you can draw the uh, scatter plot. So this example predictor variable is on the horizontal line. Criterion variable example two is on the vertical axis and you can see the picture and uh, pitch, uh, the, the scatter plot uh, picture in here and it's an example of scatter plot so you can see here the line is the linear so we can call it the linear linear regressions so it, so there is a directly a relation between the example one and example two correlation coefficient common common variance a common variance in the correlation coefficient is that first uh, def, what is the definition to extend to which variable vary in systematic manner interpret the percentage of variation in variance in the criterion variable explained by the predicted variable so for computing and the common variation we can see so scare correlation coefficient r we take uh, is r scare so we take the scare of the relation between them to find for computation uh, here are uh, some example of computation first if r is 0.5 and then we take its scare it will become uh, 0.25. So 0.25 means 25% of variance in the criterion uh, variable can be explained by the predictor variable. Other example is if R is 0 0.70, then R scale will become 0 0.49. 49. It means 49% of the variance in the criterion. A criterion variable can be explained by the predictor variables. So now you can understand the common variance between the between the between the correlation of the criterion variable and predictor variables. Next, statistical significance of the correlation. Statistical significance is the observed co coefficient from 0 0.00 does the correlation represent two relations is the relation only the result of the chance next we have to determine the statistical significance consult the table on vertical area r so we can also see the table of the uh, end of this correlation chapter number seven there are three common level of the significance if uh, 0 0.01 it's mean 1% chance out of 100 0 0.05 it's mean 5% chances out of 100 and 0 0.10 10% chance of the 100 so these three are common level of significant that most statistical expert are used statistical significance sample size and statistical significance small Sample require high correlation for significance. Large sample require lo lower correlation for the significance. So these are the uh, result that the social scientist has found. Practical significance and statistical significance. Small correlation coefficient can be statically significant even though they have little practical significance. For example, plus. 0.25 statistical significant at at the 0 0.05 level if the sample is about 100 or less than 100 or no practical significant because it is very low and predict only 
0.04 are the variance in the criterion score variable. If we take the minus 0 0.30, statistical significance at the 0 0.05 level, if the sample is about 40 lit liter or no practical significance because it is a low and predict only 0 0.09 of variance in the criterion. So while uh, analyzing analyzing the data in the uh, software we should keep these uh, values in our mind now there are mm, two type of popular study and first the relationship study the general purpose of relation study is gain insight into variable that are related to other variable relevant to educator like the student achievement self esteem concept and self concept to specific purpose such as subsequent interest in establishing cause and effect between variable to be related control for variable related to the dependent variable in experimental the correlation study is entirely different from the different from the uh, from the experimental study type no we will discuss type of correlation coefficient uh, there are two popular type of correlation coefficient depend upon the measurement level of the variable first pearson continuous predicting and criterion variable uh, uh, suppose we want to find the uh, correlation between math attitude and the math achievement 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 so then we will apply the pearson correlation similarly if we find would like to find the effect of simulation uh, in the physics class uh, for the achievements of student higher score this is also like we will apply the Pearson correlation. So Pearson correlation basically continuous predictor and criterion variable. The other is type is Spearman row ranked in this type of the correlation. We take the rank or ordinal predictor and criterion variable rank for a rank in class and rank in a final exam. So if we take the rank and we classify our population then we will apply find the co coefficient correlation that's called spearman row phi coefficient document predictor and criterion variable example of this is gender uh, gender mean males and field pass and fail status on high stake test like this so these are two type of correlation coefficient now we'll see what is the difference between linear and curvy linear relationship. Linear relationship plot the score on two variables are the best described by state line. For example, if we find the relation between the math score and the science score of the 10th class student, student, so it will make it will. Uh, make a straight line and this type of relation is called the linear relationship other is curvy linear relations uh, relationship plot of score on two variables are best described by function like example is if you find the relationship in be, between age and athletic ability and other anxiety and student then it will make the curve so in linear correlation uh, we will uh, draw the straight line and in the curvy correlation it will it will become the cur curve so in this way these are two type linear relation and curvy relation and that is the major difference between these two uh, example of linear relation here we you could find the frequency and in the example and you can see here the there is a straight line 
and this is the example of linear uh, relationship uh, here, there is a, here you can see the example of curvy relationship and you can see in the relation between these two variables the study and score is not a straight line it is a curve and you can see so it is called the uh, curvy relationship factor that influence correlation so there are number of factor that influence the correlation first is sample size the simple rule is the larger the sample higher the likelihood of a correlation so it's a directly proportional second factor is analysis of subgroup the total sample consists of male and female each gender represented a subgroup one thing we should keep in mind for example if we conduct a study and the woman uh, female sample is 20 and male sample is uh, uh, 40 so it will total become the 60 uh, so it's the acceptable part there is a lot of difference between the male and female so we have to check the sample of the subgroup before analyzing of the correlation result cross subgroup can be different because they are being obtained by analysis of data for the total sample so we are also keep in mind the representations of the sub sample while uh, analyzing of the data reduce the samples reduce the size of the sample also uh, influence the correlation potentially reduce variation is also the score so these are the factor that influence the correlation factor that also influence the correlation is very variation the greater the variation in the score the higher the likelihood of strong correlation the lower the variation in the score the higher the likelihood of weak correlation so greater so we have to see the variance between the likelihood likelihood like a lot and the uh, and the total number of score other attenuations correlation coefficient lower when the instrument being used have low reliability reliability correction for attenuation is available so before analyzing the data we have to keep um, we have to see the variations and attenuations Prediction study is actually conduct after finding the correlation. Attempt to describe the predictive relation between two or more variable. You can see here the predictive variable is the variable from which the, the researcher is predicting. The criteria variable is the variable to which the researcher is the uh, predict, predicting. So we have to, in the predictive, uh, big example, best example of predictive variable is that uh, we have seen three purpose. Facility decision about individual to help a selection decision. Uh, example of uh, decision about individual to the selection is uh, for example if we have the score of the high student high school student and based upon their high school we can decide these students will get the good score in the college the so such kind of uh, we can select the student based upon the based upon on the high school uh, score test variable believed to be good predictor of criterion variable so first we moreover we also conduct the test and based upon the test we can also see the score determine the predictability of instrument so instrument is also important uh, for predicting uh, validity and we uh, i explain the example uh, of the, again and see if we are going to select the student who uh, of the high school who would like to get the admission in college so first of all we see their basic score 
the second sometimes we conduct the uh, test and uh, see what is their score and we also uh, check the test that has been given to them is uh, per, uh, has predictive validity or not so keeping these three points we can predict the student uh, who has a high score in the school level school result will will get the good score in the college level so mostly uh, admission in college university are given based upon in, in this uh, this area because in this way we can predict the what uh, learning uh, level of the student in college single and multiple predictor so there is linear regression one predictor variable and one criterion variable and its equation is y is equal to a plus b x uh, and after finding the result we take the square and we find we tell the predict prediction of the for example if we give the data of uh, if we insert the data in this equation and we find the prediction is uh, about uh, about uh, 0.50 r is 5 and uh, if we take its scale it will become uh, the 2.5 so we'll see, we predict there is a 25 percent uh, variance predictor we will tell the student will uh, get the good score in color other is multiple regression. In multiple regression, we take more than one predictor and one criterion. So in this take, we take the more predictor variable and one a criterion variable. The equation of this is y is equal to a plus bx1 plus bx2 plus bx. It depends how much variable we are taking. So criterion variable is one, but predictor variable is more than one. So such kind of study is called multiple regression. So R are the coefficient of determination we can find uh, by using analyzing the data. Connecting a prediction study. First, identify a set of variable, limit to those variable logically related to the criterion, identify population, select a sample, identify appropriate instrument for measuring each variable ensure appropriate level of validity and reliability so collect data for each instrument from, from each subject typical data is collected at different point in a time compute the result multiple regression coefficient the multiple regression equa equation in this way we can conduct the uh, prediction study and we can predict the future of the student uh, student and uh, sometime we can predict what phenomena will ha happen and what will happen in the future so prediction study is very popular we, because we tell uh, we predict about the future what will happen conducting a predictive it has issue of concern first shrinkage what is the shrinkage the tendency of prediction equation to become less accurate when used with a group other than when on which equation was originally developed. So we should keep the point issue of shrinkage. Second is cross validation. Validation of prediction equation with an other group of subject to identify problematic variable. So we have to solve these two issues. Uh, and other issue are error or measurement, low validity or reliability, uh, increase accuracy of, uh, of prediction. Intervening variable can influence the predictive process. If there is too much time between collecting the predicted and criterion variable, criterion variable defined in general term as a teacher effectiveness. Uh, success in uh, school uh, and tend to have lower prediction accurate that define very narrowly for example overall GP of student overall uh, test score of the student 
so we have we should keep all these points uh, while we are conducting a predicting study different between type of study correlation search is a general category that is usually discussed in terms of two variable first a relation study develop insight into the relation between several two or more variable the measuring of all variable occur at the same time predictive study involve the predictive relation between between or among variables if there are two variable then it is a between and if there are more than two variable then it is among the variable prediction variable collected long before the criterion variable other correlation analysis uh, before up with the linear correlations and uh, multiple correlation we can also apply other correlation and uh, one is path analysis in the path analysis we investigate the patterns of relation among a number of variable result in the diagram that indicate the specific manner by which variable are related so path and the strength of these relation we find in the path analysis this extension of this analysis of path analysis and that extension is called structural equation model uh, uh, modeling this type modeling is very popular for conducting study in education so in stuck sem clarify the direct and indirect relation among variable based on upon underlying theoretical construct more precise than the path analysis uh, often known as a lisrel for the first computing program used to conduct so these are there are these are other correlation analysis that we can conduct a uh, discriminate function analysis a uh, discriminate function analysis is similar to multiple regression except that the criterion variable is category categorical categorical mean it might be male and female typically use predict group membership or uh, high or low anxiety achiever or non achiever males and females student college student and uh, school student so uh, such in, in, in case we will uh, use discriminate function analysis there is other correlation is conical correlation it's also extension of multiple regression in which more than one predicted variable and more than one criterion variable are used so in the previous in linear regression in the multiple regressions and in the uh, path analysis uh, path analysis and in the structural equation models uh, we uh, we use on the path one criterion variable but in conical relation we have more than one uh, criterion variable and as the factor analysis the correlation analysis used to take a large number of variable and subgroup them into a smaller number of cluster of similar variable is called factor so we can do the factor analysis uh, in which we use the correlations and this is the correlation analysis uh, when ever you will conduct the correlation research you must keep these point in your mind and this question is was the correct correlation coefficient used second uh, question is, is the validity and reliability of the instrument acceptable is there a restricted range of score how large is the sample so these are four questions you have a, it will work like a checklist whenever you will apply the correlation research so this is the brief description of the correlation research